CBS FM. Yeah, the group has given us great music for well over two-thirds of those 30 years of rock and roll. Temptations of the 80s and ladies. So, 421 at CBS FM, where we utilize the services of the Shadow Traffic Network, sponsored in part by Sears, to be utilized again within, oh, 20 minutes or so. Here at 101 CBS FM. Now, if you have a golden key card, here's what to do. Present it at Cohen's Fashion Optical and receive a 10% discount on store merchandise. Does not apply to already discounted items. That offers good at participating Cohen's Fashion Optical in the tri-state area through December 31st, 1986. Not everyone got a vacation last summer. Welcome aboard your luxurious tour bus, folks. I'm your guide for two hours of amazing sights. And that's just inside the bus. <laughs> Driving this tour bus day and night, pointing up sights to the left and right. Okay, folks, get those cameras ready for the world's largest solar-heated laundromat. <laughs> Hi, this is Don K. Reed, and I just want to let you know that the Tokens are going to be here. They'll be my very special guests Sunday night. Jay Siegel and Company, join me after Norman Knight, that's at 7 p.m., here in Don K. Reed's Doo-Wop Shop on 101.1. <laughs> CBS FM, Johnny Symbol, along with Ronnie Bright, the bass man on that. We got two of those guys here at 101. Mr. Bill Brown around for your middays, Monday through Friday. And of course, Max Kinkle. Two lowest voices I've ever heard in my life. Max will be back to the New York Oldies party tomorrow at midnight on 101.1. Tracy, wait, I'm with you. Something you do. End is near in the city's corruption trial. 39 degrees, cloudy at CBS FM. Defense lawyers have been wrapping up their arguments. Shortly, the jury will get the racketeering case involving Bronx Democratic leader Stanley Friedman, former Parking Violations Bureau boss Lester Schaffron, and two others. And members of the House Intelligence Committee have been briefed by the head of the CIA on the administration's secret Iranian arms deal. The session was closed to the press. Bob Thomas Flynn was bad, so he was punished. Disciplined, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flynn showed up for 30 minutes detention at Florida's Windermere Elementary School. Mm -hmm. But Flynn's not your ordinary bad boy. He is 37 years old. <laughs> Flynn, ended up, Flynn ended up serving the detention in place of his 7-year-old son, oh. who was late to school one day. The elder Flynn said the tardiness was all his fault since they got caught in traffic. When he couldn't talk the principal out of the punishment, Papa Flynn decided oh. to take it like a man. Son Sean thinks that was big of Dad. Well, there's a father for you. Mm -hmm. When I was seven, my dad used to make me take the rap for things he did. <laughs> <laughs> Told me it was character development. Yes, I know what you're talking right. about. <laughs> Wall Street Patel close up 33 points. Force coming up, CBS FM News Time, 431. <laughs> This town needs good, solid, dependable, affordable health care. We're talking with Dr. Gordon Kuda, one of the doctors of HIP. The attention of doctors like these. At HIP, you'll find a doctor you can call your own. Just ask at work about HIP's health plan for Greater New York. CBS FM Sports. The Rangers have dismissed Coach Ted Sater and replaced him on an interim basis with club general manager Phil Esposito. The Rangers are at Vancouver tonight. The Knicks in Chicago and major college basketball begins tonight with a national invitation tournament at seven campuses. Weekend 101 weather and evening shower possible. Decreasing cloudiness. Low in the low to mid-30s in the city. 25 in the suburbs. Tomorrow partly sunny and mild. High 45 to 50. Sunday breezy and mild. Increasing cloudiness and perhaps a shower toward evening, high in the lower 50s. Right now, 39 degrees in New York. I'm Al Meredith, CBS FM. Famous Amos and David doing the background vocals for them. Don't say nothing bad about Barry Manilow. He's had one hit after another. Here's one of them. FM, 
when you're ready to take a chance again. I have a few here for a buck apiece. I'm giving away an all expense paid trip through the Out of Lincoln Tunnel. Might interest you in the shadow traffic. You'll only be 20 minutes late during this wonderful prize. Now an accident on the westbound viaduct approaching Route 3 has been cleared. Outbound at the Holland Tunnel, a 10-minute tie-up. Minor delays inbound at both tunnels. Approaching the tolls, George Washington Bridge, moderately heavy. Northbound made for Deegan, heavy from Yankee Stadium up to the GW. Well, uh, so, uh, say northbound. <laughs> yes, I want to say southbound, but it's northbound. On the Hollywood River Drive, it's heavy on the entrance ramp. No one ever tells us what it's like southbound there. Someday we will. Uh, southbound on the B2. All lanes are open both ways on the Kaskasco Bridge. That accident cleared up. Traffic heavy both ways. Westbound cross Bronx jam from the Bruckner to 3rd Avenue. Tractor trailer car accident blocks the right lane. Then congested from Webster Avenue to the George Washington. Eastbound is extra slow from the major building to Webster. In Manhattan, still problems down on Canal Street and Broadway. The building fire ongoing. If you're northbound on the FDR Drive, moderately heavy from the South Ferry Tunnel through the 30s and congested again from the 60s to the Triborough. Northbound Bronx River Parkway, extra slow approaching 23rd Street. Two car accident cleared. Northbound Bruckner, minor delays over the Hunts Point Roberts. And uh, in, New Jer in Jersey City, Secaucus Road is closed between Tonley Avenue and Kennedy Boulevard. They had a water main break and the street collapse is right now being repaired. Shadow traffic right now for you and Beatles standing by at 101. CBS FM 101.1 is your ticket to ride this weekend as we salute the Beatles. She's got a ticket to ride. Stroll down Benny Lane. Benny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the pleasure to know. The thoughts of yesterday. Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far.